so it's lunchtime here in the UK. Lily ex is exactly six weeks pregnant today. She's very, very chilled out in the sun. Um, there's Disney. There's Khaleesi chilling out on her chair. Dudley, Harper and Nala are over there. So I thought I'd do my second trimester pregnancy video while it's really hot and sunny and we're not really doing anything. So this is like the trimester where uh, the puppies are really starting to grow um, and their skeletons start to form and everything like that. So the first week of the trimester, of the second trimester, so week four of her pregnancy, I started to add puppy food into her diet. So I didn't increase um, the amount of kibble she was having. I just um, reduced her normal kibble by a quarter and added a quarter of puppy kibble. So I did this for a week. Then I did half and half um, of puppy kibble and a normal kibble. And then the five, week five to six, I started adding a third meal into a diet um, and then three quarters puppy kibble to a quarter of a normal kibble so I do this because the puppy kibble is full of nutrients and everything that the puppies need to grow and it's an easy way of keeping weight on the bitch while the puppies are taking a lot out of her so that's what I did feeding wise um, going for walks we went for walks around the farm um, and I do this because when I go on the fields the other dogs can have a run and then Lily can just do what she wants she doesn't have to run if she doesn't want to but equally if she wanted to run she could um Lily doesn't want to run when she's pregnant she just wants to walk by the side of me which is fine so she's still getting exercise which is important to keep some level of muscle and fitness going um yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, you've got to be careful with other dogs not, like, banging into her. Um, then limit her contact with strange dogs. So you're limiting the chance of infection. And, yeah, that's pretty much caring for her. Um, I've got everything I need for the puppies. Um, i got to rearrange my living room because I think Harper might be pregnant. She's going to scan tomorrow. And if she is, I'm going to have two whelping dens in one room, which means i got to get rid of a sofa, which I wanted to get rid of anyway. Um, yeah, so I'll do a video probably tomorrow on Harper going to scan. And then I'll do another video when I set up the whelping den ready for when the puppies... Um, a born and then like a week into her pregnancy I thought hey what a good idea if I take a picture every day of her pregnancy um, but it, I missed the first week but you got you'll have the next eight weeks worth of pictures the first week you can't really tell anyway so we'll just pretend I didn't forget <laughs> um yeah, so I uh, gotta go out on the quad in a bit to um, check on my friend's horses. My shoulder's really, really bad, so I'm hoping my pain kills will kick in before I drive the quad. Ducks are happy. Ducks are no longer pending at all. Purdy, the duck with the cut tongue, she's absolutely fine. She's with the rest of them. Purdy's the one with um she's one of the crested ducks and the other crested duck is a male and he's called pongo <laughs> no uh second guess is where i got the names from um and then the white ones are jemima puddle and duck um after beatrix potter and sarah named the brown ones and they are whiskers felix and kitty cat um funny story was I said to her, what do you want to name them? She was like, oh, because they're brown, let's name them after chocolate bars. I was like, oh yeah, good idea. 
So the first name out of her mouth was Whiskers. So then they ended up being called after cat food or named after cat food instead of chocolate bars. I suppose cat food is brown, isn't it? So it's the same theory. Judith or Khaleesi, she loves this chair, all these chairs. I might have to get her, one, her own one for the house because she loves it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.